www.smartlocal.com <laughs>I'm John and I'm Q and today we are here at Belitong. Q, can yes. you please tell them what or where is Belitong? Okay, Belitong is actually an island located in Indonesia and it takes about 15 minutes to an hour to get here from Jakarta. Yes. So if you're looking for an uncommon place, less touristy, less crowded, that's located in Asia, this might be another option for you. This trip is in collaboration with Sony and we're going to be documenting and filming every single moment with Sony products. So basically, Sony is the leader in mirrorless camera technology already and they've given us a bunch of mirrorless cameras to use. It's really light, it's really small, mm -hmm. but you get very, very high quality images and footages yes. with those cameras. Yep. So we're taking you guys along. Let's get this adventure started. Right now we are at our very first location. It's beautiful because we made it just in time for the sunset. So it's basically called the Tanjong Pendam Beach and it actually costs about 2,000 rupiah per person to enter. Mm -hmm. So it's just a beach with locals roaming around, kids running, playing with the crabs in the sand. So yeah, it's actually very beautiful. There are beautiful, a lot yeah. of like tiny crabs crawling everywhere. Yeah. A bit gross lah but okay. It's cute! Sure, sure. it's okay. cute, sure. there's Oppo bikes in Belitong but it's like the XL version look at the tires they're huge I'm hungry la hum. we should very long now I'm hungry la hum. let's go eat some seafood la hum. and yes. we're here at a place called Angkrinan Mas Gembu. So it's basically a little diner where they actually sell a range of food. It's displayed in a way very similar to Yong Tau Fu, mm. right? Mm. So you go and choose your items, then you can choose whether you want to have it grilled yeah. or fried. For their cups, right, the first one is called Nasi Uduk, which is kind of like Indonesian's version of Nasi Lemak. And the noodles, what is it called again? Mi Godo. Oh my god. The fragrance of the rice is a lot stronger, mm. but it doesn't taste at all like nasi lemak rice. Yeah. Instead of sambal belacan, they actually have a heavy hiam fried shi. together with like ikan bilis. It kind of mm. makes your appetite grow. But it's a bit too salty for me. Okay, yeah. let's try the noodles now. Mmm! Oh my god, I really like this! It's basically instant noodles, but the sauce is quite a thick gravy. It's a bit like you mix the Maggie's chicken flavor right, together with... with curry. Yeah, with curry. Actually, I really want to know how this works. Yeah. One more mouth for me. <laughs> it's a beautiful day and we're here at Tanjong Kalayang Beach. Yes, so this is a beautiful beach located on the mainland. The waters here right, are already ridiculously blue. Eh? Like, yeah, it's so beautiful. The yeah, view it is. is amazing. It is. And the cool thing about this place is that you can come here, you can rent boats, you can get your snorkeling gear and whatnot, and you can get a boatman to basically take you out and go island hopping, which is yes. exactly what we're going to be doing today.
home and taking stuff. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. At least growing up so fast. Be in love. Ciao. So now we're here at Lengkuas Island which is accessible from Tanjong Kelayang. The most iconic thing is the lighthouse behind me and it was built in 1882 by the Dutch. So most of the locals here come here to chill, they come here to snorkel. There's a bunch of rock formations over there to take very Instagram worthy photos and you can buy fresh coconuts over here. Wow, beautiful. Oh wow. Oh my god, oh my god, they're coming for me. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. <laughs> oh my god! So sweet those two. So sweet those two. Aww. Okay, anyway, we're at our final island of today. The sun is setting beautifully once again. I really like the fact that the islands are not too far apart. Yeah. But they are very, very different in terms of what they offer. Right. So it's very entertaining. I really enjoyed it because Honestly, I'm someone that really loves the ocean, the beach. Mm. So this was like, I'm in my own element. Here at Mi Belitong Atep, and we're gonna try this very localized and iconic dish. Honestly, right, it looks like just any other like street side mm. restaurant. But the cool thing is that the entire kitchen is lined up along the side. Yeah. And you can see the whole process. There's like a chain, you know, as to how they do it. So, what is your first impression of it? To me, it looks kind of like a misoto slash miro boost kind of dish. It smells like the imi. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The texture of the noodles is a bit tough. But it's also mushy at the same time. The taste of it is a bit sweet. This is not normal koropok, it's just a bitter bitter kind. Of. So when you eat it together, you get a bitter punch at the end and then it adds a crunch to the mm. to the whole mouthful. Uh. For 180, I will need to buy two bowls because the portion is a bit small. Uh, but other than that, I will get this. I will totally get this. Yep. If you like mirabus, you confirm like this. We're ready to party. Oh. Yeah. What's that song that John likes? Easy come, easy come. Ah, ah, ah. Take it away, John. Take it John. away, Jonathan Paul Sell. Mama. I'll answer the I think wrong one. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Okay, so it's day three and we're at our very first location of the day. This is called Kalapa Kampit. It's basically a teen mine that used to operate back in the 90s. But it's known for its beautiful cliffs and scenic views. It took us about one hour to get here from our hotel and we're going to start our 20 minute walk up. It's funny, funny that in the whole view, right? There's a, you can see a toilet there. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a crater like hit here. Yeah. We're looking at the open pit, the main area, but then there's this like little two openings over there, so we're just gonna go and check it out. The hills near my heart with the sound of mute. Here's a tip for you: don't wear sandals. It hurts. Wow, I feel like an explorer. Oh my god. Or national job. Oh, oh, bats. Oh, what, what they, oh, there's a lot of bats in here. Oh, oh my god, that's damn nice. Oh. So this is one of the like pit where they mine the tin and mm. the gold. Inside that cave, right, I think there's even more. But mm. then I don't think it's accessible to like the public.
<laughs> oh my god. Richard S. Okay. Okay. Can. The, honestly, the leather, right? It looks very. Oh my god, it looks very weak. Okay, what? No, it looks damn dangerous, yeah. This is trustworthy, right? This yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not fall, right? So, right now, we are at the top of Belitong. This place is called Baginda Rock. Yes. So we're here at Batu Baginda and it took us about 15 to 20 minutes walk up. It's not really a hike because it's not that hard. Mm, it was mm. actually quite a, like easy. Yeah, yeah, but honestly the view is totally worth it. Mm. If you look around right, we are the only people here. Okay, there are no tourists at all. There's no like safety fences or borders or anything like that. So yeah. it's, it's very, very raw, very natural and it's very beautiful. I don't feel my legs. I am scared of heights. <laughs> wow, stay at the edge. Uh. Oh. <laughs> so we are, it's starting to rain a little bit. Uh, we are going to quickly go and grab our shots and enjoy this view. Welcome to the Q&A show where we give you tips on Belitong Tip number one So when you first come to Belitong right go to Jakarta and get a SIM card because Belitong is such a like secluded area right it's very hard to get a SIM card here Tip number two So we would recommend you to get a driver because I think it's easier to get around and yeah. plus your driver kind of acts as a guide as well because they'll tell you about this the place. Tip number three. Bring sunblock. Oh my god. And a cap. Yes. Oh my See. god. Then John's one is here. Tip number four. Eat Indomie. <laughs> <laughs> the end of our Belitong trip. So yes. how was the experience for you? Honestly, it was amazing. It was far better than expected. Mm -hmm. Everything here is so much cheaper. Yeah. The people here are Super amazing. Nice. They're yes. so friendly. Every single person here smiles at you. The food here is amazing. Yes. All the food, right? There's a sense of familiarity to it in terms of taste. But at the same time, right? There's a very unique difference to it. Mm. For me, my favorite part of this trip was the island hopping and checking out all the beaches because it's super super beautiful, the water is super clear, the sky yeah. is super clear. It's still a very non-touristy spot so you get to see everything uh, in its very raw and natural state. Mm, I think that a four days, three night trip right will be perfect. Just like, nice to see enough. Yeah. Oh yeah and shout out to our driver Diad. He is amazing. He made this trip way better than we ever planned it out to be. So if you are ever coming to Belitong right, look for him. So lastly we would like to thank Sony for sending us on this trip and providing us with a ton of awesome equipment which we use to document this entire experience for you guys. And if you'd like to find out more information about their products, you can head on down into the description box below. And before you go, remember to like, share and subscribe and watch our other videos over there. Bye! Bye.